Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bag Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Uh, today was better than yesterday. Um, <laughs> we didn't get any mail. <laughs> no good or bad mail. So hey, there's good. There's good. No $111 water bills. Not light bill, but water bill. Uh, the light bill is a manageable amount this month, so or this coming month. So, uh, I'm not worried about the light bill for a change. But the water bill, I was anticipating on being less than $50. And it turns out it's $111. So, yeah. And so that, uh, coupled with me not feeling too good, I'm still trying to pass kidney stones. So, when you're trying to pass kidney stones, it causes a multitude of feelings and um nausea and and just all around yuckiness and no matter how much wonderful things are happening for you like happy mail uh it can color how you feel so um that's where i was yesterday that even though uh mary beth uh god bless her and thank her so much um sent me the wonderful happy mail and i'm still very grateful um and then, of course, the bad news of the water bill. And then I was also feeling pretty yucky and nasty because of trying to pass kidney stones. Hello. Um, you know, it just it was just one of those days where nothing could go, you know, it just, you know. And then I still struggle with, you know, mental health issues that even though I'm, I'm, I take my medication as, as directed, you know, you're going to have those days. You're just going to have those days. You know, is is a happy-go-lucky, uh, joyful person that I normally am. I, I, you know, I am human, you know, and I can't be happy-go-lucky, joyful all the time. So, uh, you know, here, this is the real world, and I bring it to you live and in color, you know, and I share the good and the bad with you. So, at least, you know, I'm a real person. I'm living a real life. I don't edit you know real content here so uh this is what you see is what you get crochet real life <laughs> whatever you what this is a vlog episode so when you watching a vlog episode you're gonna get it all <laughs> so <laughs> there's no telling what you might see now i did find out they're right around the corner from my house is a yarn store now i'm assuming because it's called uh yarn on yuri which is like a major thoroughfare uh major road that runs right along right in the middle of shreveport uh shreveport louisiana where i live and i'm assuming because it's right on the major thoroughfare and it's probably that high-end yarn i'm probably going to try to go there I got to go Friday and uh, renew my driver's license because Sunday is my birthday. And guess what? Sunday, my driver's license expires. Well, here in Louisiana, there's no, there's no leeway with that. So if your driver's license expires, you can't use it. <laughs> you can't wait till Monday, even though your birthday's on a Sunday, and then go you know renew your driver's license no <laughs> your driver's license expired yesterday there's now probably i don't know i could be wrong but there would probably be some sort of fine or some other bs business that i would have to deal with so better safe than sorry friday i will go and renew my driver's license so <laughs> so while i'm out friday I figure I don't know if they'll let me film in there and I probably I'm not gonna chances are I'm not gonna be able to afford any of that stuff um, I'll get a small one I'll get Johnny's small uh, S, uh, check Friday and that should give me a little enough to go get my license renewed but um, I don't know how much it's gonna cost me I got to take cash with me to one of these places not the regular DMV because you got to have an appointment to go to the DMV now. But we have these places that are licensed to, 
to renew your license that you can go and take a number and sit down and you know and do it the same day and so i'll go and pay pay an extra fee i forget what the, the extra fee is it's really not that bad um I, it's probably like an extra five bucks or something like that it's not terrible uh, but uh, I'll just go pay that extra little fee instead of waiting for an appointment that I don't have time to wait for now because I've waited too long. <sighs> well, things creep up on you when you get old. <laughs> 49. Uh, anyway, but um, so it's yarn on Yuri, and I will uh, in the next, prop, I'll try to go Friday and check it out for y'all and see if they'll let me do any filming in there. And we'll just kind of take a look at it and see what they got. Because uh, we all like a little yarn video, right? <laughs> Maybe they got some of that Malabrigo worsted that I kind of would like to take a look at. Now that I have a yarn swift to go with my ball winder. Maybe. Uh, Will Will's probably going to give me some cashola Friday. So, uh, <laughs> for my birthday, he's like... I get this week off of rent pay, and I was like, yeah, but it's my birthday week. And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have time to go yarn shopping for me. He has, uh, his his club has this camping thing called Ugly Fest. And so they have this big campground that he's going camping for the weekend with his girl and all his club brothers. So he will be gone all weekend and on my birthday. It has been that way the last couple of years since he's been with this, this social club that he's part of. So I, w I was already mentally prepared for that. I'm a grown woman. I can, I, can, I can understand. He's part of a social club. He's 30. It's not like, you know, he's a little boy that's not spending his, my birthday with me or something. He's grown. And I'm grown. So it's okay. Johnny will be with me on my birthday. And my mom will be with me on my birthday. And, uh... We'll probably go eat at uh, Ichiban, uh, which is a sushi restaurant, uh, and Hibachi Grill, which is one of my favorite spots to go eat. So um, that's probably where we'll go have my birthday dinner, because that's my favorite spot. And uh, that's, you know, <laughs> that's where I like to go eat. But anyway, um, so Yarn on Yuri, I'm hoping to get in there uh, set Friday and uh check it out and uh if nothing else just take you know take some pictures um of what they got uh it's probably going to be way out of my little tiny budget uh price wise but i do want to kind of take a look and maybe take a little i'll ask to permission to take a little video and uh, post a little video for y'all and we'll see what they got and who knows, maybe some of y'all that are not too far from Shreveport, y'all might want to visit. Maybe they have an online store. I'll find that out for y'all. And uh, we'll see what's what. Uh, we can go moon over their yarn together. <laughs> oh, and I got to looking at this box I've been using to put stuff on um, and showcase it uh, with y'all. And I realized that this is my... <laughs> These are my records, my vinyl records. Um, a couple of years ago, I think it's probably a couple of years ago, the boys bought me a record player. Well, Will did a vinyl record player. It also has a tape deck in it and a CD player in it. And uh, I'm not, I'm one of those people that can listen to just about any kind of genre of music, just about within reason. <laughs> but I am Southern. So I do like a certain amount of country music. And my favorite country singer is Garth Brooks. Okay. Till my dying day, it will be Garth Brooks. And, um, sorry. That's a little... I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try to splice a couple of videos together. I've never done that before, but I'm going to try. Because <laughs> when I try to correct the crookedness of my camera... I accidentally hit the lock button and interrupted my previous video. So, what I was going to try to show y'all. <laughs> and I hope I can connect these videos in, in, in some on, on an app or something. Um, I know everybody else knows how to do that, but I hadn't done that. 
but I'm going to try to do that uh, with this video since I have a beginning and this is my other half of my video. So I'm going to try to do that. So uh, <laughs> I might have to do like a vlog one and a two for today's date. I don't know. But if you're watching this and it's in a separate post, you know what happened that I wasn't able to attach it to the other video because I accidentally reached up to correct the crookedness of my camera and I hit the lock button which stopped the video. <laughs> I used to be very tech savvy before um, menopause. I used to be very smart and very tech savvy. But I used to like could replace a hard drive on a computer and then re reinstall everything on it, stuff like that. Now I struggle with smartphones. <laughs> I don't know everything that my iPhone 13 Pro does. <laughs> There's things that it probably does that I don't even know about. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I was noticing in this box here that my vinyl records are in this box. And a couple of years ago, my boys got me this special set of records. It's the legacy set from Garth Brooks. I've never seen him in concert, which I would love to see him in concert. I have a feeling that that's like a bucket list item. But this has got, oh, like seven records in it and seven CDs in it of all his first seven albums. And then I bought this one off of um, eBay. I don't remember how much I paid. <laughs> it was cheap. But uh, this is an old, like really old record. It's The Temptations. And the name of the record's called House Party. And it's a, I'm going to show this to y'all. Yeah, it's really old. Let's see if I can find the date on it. Oh, it's not that old. 1975. <laughs> not that old. <laughs> but it's a good record. It's a good record. It's got some good music. Yeah, it's got some good songs on it. Oh, look at them. Look at them back in the day. Don't they look amazing? The matching outfits. I love the matching outfits. Oh, and to watch them dance in sync. I tell you, one of my favorite things is synchronize, you know, to watch people dance in sync, in synchron, you know, synchronizing dancing. I love that. I love the coordinate coordination it takes to do that. I admire it so much. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, we used to have a neighbor. Now this record really doesn't play too good because it got damaged somehow, but we used to have a neighbor um, back when we lived at the old house and she gave me this. It doesn't play too great though it's been scratched up. I'm not going to show that one to y'all too much because it's kind of a disappointment. But she gave that to me because I had a record player and she didn't. And this group, um, my, I found out later after I bought it, my mom told me it was my grandfather's favorite group. Um, that uh, he used to love Herb Al Alpert, A-L-P-E-R-T, Alpert, and the Tijuana Brass. Now this one, I went to the Wayback Machine to find. <laughs> this was also an eBay find. And let's see, I'm looking for a year. I want to say this came from the 60s. I may have to look on the record itself. Here's the cover though. Don't they look awesome in their matching outfits? I love it. There's Herb right there. He's still around actually. And he's still handsome. He's a handsome, handsome man. Let's see if it says. It doesn't say what year. But it plays. It plays real good. A real quality album. 
the seller took very good care of this. I mean, it, the, the cover's got some fading on it, but the album itself is, I mean, there's some dust on it because I was living on a dirt road. And if I can get it back in here now. There we go. But, yep. And, of course, I can't listen to this with y'all because copyright and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, this is part of the Garth Brooks um, thing here. And it gives you a whole book full of stuff that it's it shows you a, a tour from 2000. It shows you a bunch of tours and stuff. There's a whole lot of good stuff in that thing that it was like a $50 thing that he bought me. And this is part of this is part of that. Jesus. There I go. And here's another Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass um, uh, album. It's called The Lonely Boy. The Lonely Bull. Excuse me. The Lonely Bull. That's the back part. This is the front part. The Lonely Bull. This is a good one, though. I think this is the one that's got... Um, one of them's got uh, tequila on it. Dun, 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 dun. You know, tequila. <laughs> That song. <laughs> but I love listening to these. It's very, uh, I don't know. It's very soothing to listen to stuff that, yeah, yep, this is the one with the tequila song on it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was hoping it would say what year. But it didn't, neither one of them say what year. But I want to say these were from the 60s. But definitely very old. Um, my grandfather died when I was four. But these were his type things. And that's all that's in here. Other than a blood pressure cup. Ah, Cat 5. <laughs> Ethernet cable. picture of a NASCAR driver that no longer drives NASCAR. Mark Martin. I used to be a Mark Martin fan. Now I'm all dusty. <laughs> ah. But I'm going to try to put these two pieces of film together, these two videos together. But uh, that's about all I got for vlog today. I'm just going through a box that has my records in it. I'm going to put my records on top of the record player. So that I could start playing them when I'm in here. And I could just sit and crochet and listen, listen to my records. I think that would be nice. Um, they're not meant to sit in a dusty box and, and collect more dust. They're meant to be played, I think. Nothing quite sounds like vinyl. I got some vinyl records on my Amazon wish list. But they're blues records. They're uh, Buddy Guy, uh, Beth Hart, and Joe Bonamassa. That I love, I love some blues music. Um, I know it's, it probably sounds crazy, uh, but blues music cheers me up. <laughs> now that sounds nuts, but today when I was going to the store to pick up our grocery order, uh, my van, my minivan has a has a sunroof. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit fancy for me. It's it's a ten year old vehicle, but it's still fancy to me. Uh, I only got it in March when I got my disability and back pay, and so it's kind of fancy to me. But it's got a, it's got a, uh, a, I don't know, I don't know if you call it a sunroof. I call it a sunroof, but it might be called a moonroof. But it's, it's, it is, it, it's kind of has that, and it was in the low 80s today, so it was, you know, a fairly nice temperature. And so I opened the the moonroof and let down the windows and turned the music up loud and. Just cruised down there, picked up my groceries, and cruised back with the music loud, and just enjoying my little bit, my little short drive to Walmart and back. It's only like a five-minute drive. It's really short, so it was it was a good day. I mean, as far as that goes. And then I've been working on Mama's cardigan today. Um, 
I got. I want to get that done. Uh, I'm, I'd like to make that by Christmas, or at least by next spring. <laughs> it's it's. There's a lot of work involved in it, so that's why I say that. Say it like that, and I'm making it out of cotton, out of uh, out of a cotton acrylic blend yarn. So it's going to kind of be it, either cool weather or warm warm weather type deal. I mean, it, it's pseudo. It's really going to work for our kind of weather here. So it could, you know, work for when she's a little chilly or, you know, just, you know, it'll work. It'll work for here. So that way she's not wearing, ha stuck wearing something really, really heavy. So it'll, it'll work. Um, because, you know, this is, this is not the, t we don't get cold enough here for something super heavy all the time. Uh, we really very rarely get out of the teens here, and that's like in February. Mar uh, January or February are our coldest months, and it only gets really cold like that very briefly. And then we stay in about the 30s or 40s, and then that's over with fairly quickly. So there's no really point in making anything incredibly heavy to wear, because when when would we have occasion to wear it? So that's why if we make anything, if I make anything super heavy, it's I got to send it away, send it, gift it to someone who lives somewhere warmer because we're not going to be wearing it here. But uh, anyhow, I hope you all are having a better day and um, a, war a wonderful Tuesday. And uh, I love y'all. God bless you. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye now.